Welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Podgorica. The best things to do in Podgorica are to look at the beautiful landmarks in the city's old town and take a short drive to see beautiful views. A lot of people go to the beach resorts, but Podgorica is where you can see the real Montenegro. The capital has a real personality, with the smell of grilled meats in the air and birds flitting along its tree-lined streets. But before we start our countdown, please subscribe to our channel, The Travel Boss, and also tell us what is your favorite thing to do in Podgorica in the comments. Number 10. Mall of Montenegro In Podgorica, the Mall of Montenegro sells both brand-name goods and fresh food. It's an interesting place to go if you want to learn about the real culture of the area. Inside the beautiful circular building, there are all the local and international brands you could want, as well as a pool hall and a busy market for fresh food. Number 9. Center of Contemporary Art Another great thing to do in Podgorica is visit the Center of Contemporary Art. The Center of Contemporary Art in Podgorica is a gallery that is hidden on the ground floor of an old mansion in Park Petrovica. The palace used to be where royalty lived, but now it has a small collection of art that changes often. You can see long-term displays from Africa, Asia, Latin America, and Europe, as well as work by local artists. Number 8. The Cathedral of the Resurrection of Christ It took about 20 years to build the Cathedral of the Resurrection of Christ, which is a Serbian Orthodox Church. It stands out and is different inside and out. The towers and upper floors are made of intricately carved marble, but the ground floor is more like an old city wall made of stones. Inside, there is even more to be curious about. Every surface is covered with bright, provocative images, like a painting of Karl Marx burning in hell. Number 7. Lake Skidar A large freshwater lake. Lake Skidar is just 30 minutes south of Podgorica by car. The dolphin-shaped rock is said to have been made from the tears of a crying pixie. Its enchanting beauty fits the magical name. The lake is in a national park with lots of wildlife and beautiful places to take pictures. Number 6. Dajbade Monastery The Dajbade Monastery is an active cloister that was first built in the late 1800s. The small stone building with a portico is surrounded by peaceful gardens with olive and cypress trees from the area. The founder of the monastery painted religious frescoes on the walls of an Orthodox church that is hidden in a cave under the monastery. Frescoes of prophets, religious figures, and local saints cover the whole cave, following the natural shape of the stone. Number 5. Waterfall Niagara Podgorica just outside of the city of Podgorica is a beautiful set of waterfalls called Niagara Podgorica. A big waterfall falls over a dam, and around it are a lot of smaller falls that have strange shapes because the limestone rock has been worn away. The best views are from the boulders, which make a narrow crevasse right in front of the falls. It's a very quiet place, surrounded by farms and a vast landscape of vineyards that grow grapes for Vranek a type of red wine. Number 4. Podgorica Clock Tower Even though Podgorica was bombed a lot during the Second World War, the clock tower there is still standing tall. It's one of the few things left from the Ottoman Empire, so it stands out against the city's modern buildings in an interesting way. It is 16 meters tall and is a good place to meet for a drink in the afternoon. The famous building is a great example of Islamic architecture. It is in the middle of the busy old town. Number 3. Independence Square Independence Square is one of the busiest places in Podgorica. It's also the center of the city's art scene, since the National Library and Al Galarija Art Gallery are right next to it. In the middle of the square is a sparkling fountain surrounded by palm trees and benches. People like to shop on both Vudalska Street in the south and Slobod Street in the east. At night, Independence Square is lit up with bright colors, and people hang out in the bars and cafes nearby. Number 2. Old Ridnica River Bridge The crown jewel of Podjorica and the Ridnica River is the Old Ridnica River Bridge. 
The river flows through the northern part of the old town, which has more trees. From Park Forest Gorica, the city's biggest park, you can take a nice walk down to the Ridnica and along its tree-lined banks. Before you get to the monument to King Nicola, you will wind your way through King's Park and hear the birds singing. Along the way, you'll reach the old bridge at some point. The old Roman bridge crosses the Ridnica, where it meets the Moraca, which is its bigger brother. Number 1. Njegosev Park If you wonder what to do in Pajorica, you definitely have to visit Njegosev Park. You can enjoy the peace and quiet of Pajorica in the early morning at Njegov Park, which looks out over the Moraca River. The peaceful park is between the three main river crossings in Pajorica. This makes it a good place to start exploring the city. Walk through the pine trees to the cafe in the middle of the park, where locals are getting strong coffee. It will give you the energy to see the rest of the city. So these are the top 10 best things to do in Pajorica. Do you agree with our list and think that visiting Injagosif Park is the best thing to do in Pajorica? Share your views in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel The Travel Boss. Thanks for watching.